Yo, what is up guys? This is John or Stratus here and today I'm just making a little tutorial on how you can change your IP address super easy like for free. You don't have to buy a VPN or a proxy anything like that. It's really simple. This method works for probably like 90% of people um, because as long as, as long as you don't have like a super old router then you should be good. But um, basically what we're doing is every router has its own little code and what we're going to be doing is changing that code to so the computer or my or our internet service provider thinks that we have a different router so it's gonna update our IP the so first thing you want to do is you just want to look at your old IP address if you don't already know it this is mine I'm just gonna block out the first couple numbers but um so this is mine's um, it's whatever whatever point two two zero and um so we're going to be changing our public IP address and the first thing you want to do is you want to find your default gateway which is basically how you access your router settings. So what you want to do is you want to open up the little windows prompt, you want to go to your CMD and you want to type in IP config. Okay, then what you want to look for is your default gateway. That is how we're going to access our router settings. So what you want to do is you just want to highlight this control C, you want to go into your browser and you just want to paste that in. Okay, now you're going to be brought to a prompt with a username and password. Now every router has a different username and password. Mine happens to be admin and password. You can try this and if it doesn't work I'll have a link in the description with a bunch of different usernames and passwords to different routers. So I'm going to log in and I have a Netgear router and for Netgear routers what you, you, it's pretty simple to access um, the settings but you want to look for something that has to do with a Mac address and this is your little this is your router's machine code basically and this is how the your internet service provider ISP identifies specific routers so if you've ever bought a new router you might not have noticed that your public IP address changed well we're gonna trick our ISP into thinking that we got a new router so what you wanna do is it's probably gonna be on default address or something similar to that if you have Netgear it's gonna be defaulted to this setting what you wanna do is you wanna click on use this MAC address or something to do with a custom MAC address and all you want to do is go to the last number. It might be in a little bit different format depending on your router. I'm not exactly sure. But all you want to do is just change the number. You can just change. I'm just going to change mine from 56 to say 53. And once you've done that, you want to make sure this is selected. You want to click apply or something similar to that. And now once this is all done, what you're going to want, you're going to lose connection. You want to access to the internet. But what you want to do is you want to reset all three, your router, your modem, and your computer. You want to turn them off and turn them back on all together and then you should have a new IP so I will get back to you guys once I've resetted all three of those devices alright so I've reset my router my modem and my computer now just to make sure that everything worked well just open up your browser and all you want to do is just google IP and there you go now you can see my IP is completely different now you should be unbanned from any I don't know any website any game server as long as you are IP banned not account banned because account bans are pretty you can't really get rid of them without a new account. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this worked for you. And if not, leave a comment below what went wrong, and I'll try to help you the best that I can. Thanks, guys.